Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your source for Second Amendment news. There's a, a wackadoo that's out there as far as gun control, and uh, this one was submitted by a uh, wacko from Texas. Uh, she's a Democrat from the Houston area, and her name is uh, Sheila Jackson Lee. Sheila Jackson Lee has proposed this bill, uh, which is HR 4268, and the working title for this bill is Gun Safety not sorry act and what she is uh brazenly looking to do with this bill that she has submitted is to institute a seven day wait period on the purchase both at uh ffls and on the um the person to person level the individual level uh seven day waiting period for semi-automatic firearms for any ammunition dubbed armor piercing for suppressors and silencers even though they're already delayed months as it is and here's the kicker any magazines that hold more than 10 rounds so some of the things that are in this bill and i'll have a link in the description so you can read it for yourself and have a good laugh but some of the things that are in this bill we haven't seen since 1993 when the brady bill came out in 1993 the brady bill adopted a five-day waiting period on handguns and that was changed in uh, 1998 when NICS came out, the National Instant Background Check System. And that's also when we got the three-day default to proceed uh, portion, the waiting period, uh, which would delay checks if they ran into a problem. Say you were, you had the same name as uh, a wanted criminal. They could wait a couple extra days to make sure that it wasn't you. Now, currently, there are nine states plus D.C., that have uh, waiting periods still, and they range from the extreme to 14 days on any firearm in Hawaii uh, to a 24-hour delay in Illinois on uh, long guns, rifles, and shotguns. What this bill fails to address or mention, and something tells me they're not going to mention this, which is why I do, this waiting period, this cool-off period as some refer to it as, uh, will do nothing other than delay illegal purchasers um, transfer. It does nothing for the criminal because this doesn't institute a seven day wait period on the street or, uh, you know, the guy who's going to steal a gun or the guy who's going to get a gun off the street to do his crime. Uh, they're not going to wait seven days. They're just going to do it. So this is more bullshit. That's just looking to take guns away from legal gun owners. Again, it's not the guns they're after. It's the control. Now, this bill has been referred to the House Committee on the Judiciary, uh, where Jackson Lee is a senior member. So, something tells me that it's going to be pushed through real quick. Also, as a shocker, it has 13 co-sponsors already. All of them are Democrat. Go figure. Uh, again, it's HR 4268. A link is in the description. Uh, Texas, y'all need to get on the horn and uh, educate this lady and get on your delegates and let them know what the deal is. Real quick, I want to tell you some of the quotes that Miss uh, Jackson Lee spewed out of her facial hole that uh, she's trying to get people, you know, the sympathy uh, vote. And her quote is, uh, We cannot afford another angry person in possession of military-style weapons, nor can we bear the consequences of another person consumed by hatred, wielding firepower intended to inflict maximum carnage. The blood that has been shed in America runs deep, with too many lives lost and too many families shattered. I guess she forgot that the shooting that she molded, the, this came out two days after the Texas church shooting. Uh, I guess she forgot the fact that a good guy with a gun stopped the bad guy with a gun. You know, no mention of that in here. Shocker. So please forward this to everybody you know who, uh, especially somebody in Texas, we need to get on this. Uh, thumbs up, please, so that uh, more people on YouTube can see it. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for the fastest Second Amendment news right here on the Guns and Gadgets channel on YouTube while they still let me do this. Uh, I thank you for all your support. I appreciate your time more than you know. And until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a weapon. And don't wait seven days. Take care, everybody.